Hi all. Today I am here to discuss about one of medical and surgical condition that is appendicitis. Appendicitis, before going to see the what is the condition of appendicitis, you should know that what is appendix. Appendix is a finger like appendage in the attached to the cecum. Cecum means it is the end part of the small intestine. And this appendix will be occurring the just attached to the cecum and just below the ileocecal valve. So when the infection or inflammation occurring in this appendix that is called the appendicitis. And also we can see the appendicitis is the infection or inflammed or edematous or pus filled in the appendix that is called appendicitis. Mainly there are two type of appendicitis are there, acute appendicitis and chronic appendicitis. So let's see what are the causes and risk factors of appendicitis. The causes mainly there is a obstruction or blockage of the appendix due to stool, cancer or any foreign bodies and any kind of the infections. That is the main cause or etiology of the appendicitis. So let's see what are the risk factors of the appendicitis. The risk factors such as extreme age or any previous abdominal surgery and immunosuppressant, person who have the diabetes mellitus, these are the risk factors of the appendicitis. So let's see what are the pathophysiology of appendicitis. So already we discussed the etiology or causes of the appendicitis. Due to these causes or etiological factor, there is a obstruction of appendicial lumen. That will leads to increase the production of mucus inside the appendix or appendicial lumen. That will leads to increase the pressure of appendicial lumen. When the production of mucus inside the appendix, normally the appendix lumen becomes stretched and increase the pressure. That pressure will be leads to ulceration of the appendix lumen. The ulceration leads to decrease the oxygen and the blood supply. When there is a reduction of oxygen and blood supply, will leads to invention of microorganism inside the appendix. As you know, when there is an invention or multiplication of microorganism, that will leads to inflamed or edematous of the appendix. The final result we can see there is a pus production or edematous or swelling or inflammation or infection that will leads to the appendicitis. So let's see what are the clinical manifestation of appendicitis. The clinical manifestation or signs and symptoms of the appendicitis are abdominal pain. Mostly the pain will occur in the right lower cordon region of the abdomen and there is a abdominal tenderness or nausea vomiting constipation or diarrhea anorexia and there is a cramping severe cramping these are the common signs and symptoms of the appendicitis so let's see what are the diagnostic evaluation for appendicitis. Histic collection, physical examination, complete blood count test and CT scan, ultrasound or rectal examinations. These are the common diagnostic evaluation we can do the patient who are suffering in the appendicitis or that is the symptoms. Okay, so let's see what are the management we can provide. So here we are done the diagnostic evaluation as per the symptoms. Usually you know when we are going to do the all the diagnostic evaluation, they first we ask the patient to the signs and symptoms. According to that we are going to the diagnostic. So that is clear. So next step is management. 
the management here for the acute and chronic stage are there in the acute appendicitis or chronic appendicitis so in the acute appendicitis we can give the pharmacological management such as analgesics antibiotics and diuretics and iv fluids so analgesics such as morphine and sulfate we can provide to relieve the pain and antibiotics such as metronidazole levofloxacin it help to uh, invention of or prevent the invention or reduction invention of microorganisms and antiemetics help to reduce the vomiting and nausea feeling and let's see if the uh, chronic condition of appendicitis we can do the appendectomy the appendectomy it is a surgical procedure removal of the appendix under the general anesthesia we can do the surgery so let's see the nursing management here the patient uh, pre operative and post operative care so in chronic condition as per that we can provide the care to the patient so firstly commonly we have assess the patient condition and provide the medication as per physician order and provide comfortable position and give the psychological support to the patient and family members and give the or we have to assess the or monitor the vital signs and if any abnormality if you are noticing we should inform to the physician and here in the chronic condition we should prepare the patient for the surgery so here we can provide the pre operative care and post operative care so hope you all understand what is appendicitis the appendicitis it is the infection and inflammation of the appendix or edematous or pus filled in the appendix that condition is called appendicitis so hope you all enjoy this class thank you for watching the video we'll see you in next video